Right guys, welcome down to part two and I'm pretty sure in saying the first ever world 4K course vlog. I think I'm pretty safe in saying that? Mm, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to go with it anyway. I'm not a safe, but yeah, we'll okay. go with it. So we're down here at the Ells Pub in Dubai. Part one has been on Rick's channel playing match play. I'm currently one up. Yeah, um, just hold a great birdie put on the last to go one up. That wasn't too bad at all. So we're, we're probably not... going to try and squeeze three more holes in before it really starts to go dark. So we're going to get, I think we're going to get some amazing sunset views. Yeah, I think so. This is a par five, 13th hole, 501 yards. Everything that's not fairway is bunkers. <laughs> Literally everything. The driver, um, just right to the bunker in the middle. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. I mean, this is this should be reachable today. You just got to get it out of the way of the trouble. right at the bunker we're talking about oops well, where's the zoom and the zoom isn't quite as deep on Pete's I think he's to the right of it I think should be okay struck it all right good kind of ballooned a bit for you that yeah a little bit into win tried to hit it too hard yeah so the the zoom on this uh camera guys I can only kind of get into that much but because it's 4k I should be able to crop the image quite well but we'll see. First time we've done this, so hopefully it looks okay. So say employ for you, Rick. Where's that heading? Okay. I think we should be able to get over that bunker. I think we're getting a little bit too... Uh... Yeah, I think, I think I'm right, we're right over it. Okay, so let's head down there. Get this amazing, amazing course. This really is a cracking venue and they've been really good here. Kind of allowing us out to film as well. Got us on when, really. Chris Brown, the manager, very nice of him to sort us out. Yeah, I mean, to get us out today, with there's been about I don't know, 300 people playing today. So. Well, race, race, race to the by final is literally a driving a pitching wedge away. It's over. <laughs> Take... A look at this guy. Wow. Amazing. So we both cleared the bunker by quite a long way. We, <laughs> we were getting panicky for literally no reason at all. Uh, so 2.30 to the flag. Really, our bunker is horrible position. Yeah, it's not the nicest position to be honest. The safe option is to try and just right. So just to the right? Yeah, just to the right. Okay. Show us what you got, Ricky. Be big enough, be big enough, be big enough. Oh! Did that get over? Oh, yeah, I don't think that got over, guys. It wasn't. Hmm, I've got a little bit of the left today. <laughs> I was meaning to go in that right corner of the green and it suddenly went straight at the flag and then it needed to travel and it's not long enough, really. I tried to hit four iron right there. Pete? Uh, I'm going to hit a one iron. The one? And I'm actually going to go, I'm going to go straight at it with a touch of fade. To try and miss it to the right if it misses. Yeah, if, it, if it moves off, it'll miss right. Distance wide, I think I'm a bit in between as well, so. Oh, it stayed left. Over as well. Oh, it's short. Probably not your best strike there, would you say? Well, that was all round a double cross crap strike missing in the wrong place. Next video coming soon from Pete. I don't need to say much. Rick's saying a lot there. So, like we said before, it's either fairway or desert, and Pete is in desert. Can you do that? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to really send my club back to be repaired too much, so yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Pete's got this bunker to navigate, this mini desert in front of him, and the flag's just here. I'm in the bunker just, just down there underneath the rake actually at the moment. 
par five, so this is third shot. Oh, well, wow. Can you even see the flag? Can you see the flag? Uh, at the very top of it. It's not, I kind of knew what was going to happen, but took the... Uh, oh, at least it was worth it. At least it was a good shot. Oh, wow. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Oh no. Yeah, a bit stony. No, no. But you know what? If I go birdie birdie, it's fine. It's all forgotten. It's all fine. So, after a happy shot, I think I'm happy with, and a broken club. Rick, you've got this to follow. Yeah, I was impressed with that one. It's a tricky one, this one, though. Over the lip of the bunk, he's got to get all the way down to there. Again, very, very hard shot to get up and down this one. If there's one man wearing Under Armour on this course who can do it, it's Rick. Oh, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> or Matt Fitzpatrick. Matt. <laughs> it's a great contact. Hit it, hit it. Oh, beautiful stuff. It's just ran a little bit on about seven feet or so, but that, again, it was a very good shot. I had a chance of going in, I had a little look. Yeah, at least just because it's, it's in 4K, we're trying to be impressive here. <laughs> this was giving the camera some, something to actually capture. We don't do anything if it's not 4K anymore. <laughs> so this is one of the uh, features about this course. These greens are raised up high above every fairway, lots of runoff points and lots of slopes. I don't think we've had a flat put yet. And this certainly isn't, uh, it certainly isn't gonna be. So off your left, so coming in this way and downhill. Soft hands required here, Shields. Good job you moisturise regularly. <laughs> come round, come round, come round, come round, come round, come round. Yes! What a brilliant up and down. <laughs> More brilliant putt. <laughs> I needed to. That that had some swing in that. Right, Pete. We're even, we're even gonna get your putt ready there. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to get this backdrop by the way. Looks amazing. So had to put the pressure on. Had to make that putt so that Pete didn't run away with this. I've got a bit of a bit of an issue really because I'm coming more I don't know if I'm coming more downhill than you were then. So I'm going down that way. Yeah, I mean mine was pretty sharp. I hardly touched it. So I'm going to have to try and get this kind of that way, I think. So to halve the hole, I'll come right behind so people can we can get a real perspective of the slope of this. I just want to get a backdrop in that sky. Oh, do me a favour. Wow. Oh, oh, that did swing. That, that was a big turn up of events there. I didn't expect that. Yeah, back foot. I didn't expect that. So, on to the next. All square. And hopefully you're enjoying this lovely 4K footage here at the Owls Club. Looks awesome. So on the 14th hole here, uh, you can see you kind of got to, got to, well, you got to get a bit of a bit of You got to hit it there over the last bunker, which is 240. I'll spin around to try and get it, but I want to try and get Rick kind of against this sky on the tee shot because it's, it is very, very nice. So, nice, so driver. Yeah. Give it a good old bash. That's a fantastic sound and it looks like it's going right where you want it to. Sand. I would. See with the one, oh, you probably won't see it. It's in line with the green. It, if it's kicked through the sand, it's big. I would have thought that'd be a perfect line. Yeah, line. Just, I think it's a fraction less. I saw it just splashing the sand. It just depends what it's done from that situation. Look at that backdrop. Do you get some amazing skylines here don't we? at sunset? Yeah. Let me just try and focus the background and not you. Look wrong way. Don't think it's going to do. All round. 
lovely place. I don't think it's going to do it. Right. P on the same line? Uh, yeah, just slightly further right now. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I think I just tried to bite off a little bit more than I could chew there. Not a clue. Going to have to direct me a bit. It's got to go. Where have you gone? On the left. Okay, that's good. Might not see it there, but no, it's good. <laughs> We've uh, got some people coming in down the fairway, calling our name. She's slightly worrying. Is this Harry? Do you think? We will see. Where's the pin? Uh, it's right, you can just see oh, the very, very top of it. Isn't it eight iron? Eight iron. The green is right over the top of that. And um, oh, by the way, we didn't uh, point out that Rick's in a bit of a situation. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get on. Rick's in a slight pickle. Or oh, just go straight through it and then go straight at it. One of the two. That could be very, very good. I mean, you've got, you've got applause. You've got wild applause. Have you seen the vlog today? <laughs> you made the vlog. Made the vlog. So it was uh, Harry, Felix and... Ollie. Ollie. So Harry and Felix have been in a intro, Quest for the Open intro. And then Ollie is a member here as well? Yep. All members here. They've, they've hunted us down, Peter. Found us. So, Found how far have you got? Uh, 122. Uh, okay. Can't really see the pin. And after the applause that you were getting. Yeah, the guys have said it's good. Like, like really good. Anytime you put yourself in one of these situations, you just claw yourself down. <laughs> good strike. I would imagine that's good. No clap. Nothing. Yeah, I, I think that should be good. Yeah, it should be good. No, said, is, is it in? Can you see it? It's out of bounds. So Pete's just done the uh, most embarrassing thing to golf in golf. He walked up to the uh, golf ball that was closest, but found out it actually said Callaway on it and not Taylor Made. And there's Peter's, a little bit further away. <laughs> it's okay. The lads told you it was 10, 15 feet away. They lied. Oh, I know. You were miles away. Absolutely miles away. So after after the escape through the sand, through the bush, over the hill, down the hill, onto the green, I've got an easier chance for birdie than Pete has. Just makes you love the game, doesn't it? It, it makes you love it. Right, I think this is going to move a little bit right to left at the end. Okay. Moved a long way right to left long way it went that way first. now because of that peter you can have that put i want to give you that i know it's generous i know i know no it's fine but it's fine it's fine I mean, i'm not moaning i feel like once this goes in it no longer matters okay i haven't made i haven't made this one anyway all right come on rick roll it home i mean i i, I kind of want to see you make it in an abstract way two very different putts there. Right, you cannot have that. <laughs> <laughs> Move on to the next. All square. Okay, so after a very in-depth discussion there, it's two 370 to the bunkers. 370? 317. 317 to those bunkers. You're just going to go just right of them? Mm, yeah. 274 to carry the water on that line. Okay. And then I'm guessing goes... So it's only like a 30-yard spot to hit. Oh, that's easy. I'll hit that bunker. Well, try not to. <laughs> try not quite to hit it, but I, I see where you're coming from. Oh, oh safe. safe. Safe and left over there. I think without knowing that would have been the way that I would have hit it. Without <laughs> knowing with these guys. Oh, that was very safe. Bailed out. Sorry lads, bailed out there. Yeah, no problem. I got scared. I got scared. 
So I thought another go at that though. Right, so I'm going to try and take your original wine. Okay. See what happens. Feeling confident about it. It's, it is a, a hard idea to get your head around hitting it on that line, but you've got it. Yeah, straight on it, straight on those two bunkers. We might not see it down with the zoom, but is that okay? It's a good shot. It's okay? Yeah, it's good. good. They're just saying it's in the water though, but it's good. No idea. <laughs> okay, sorry for the quality slightly degrading now. It's getting very, very dark out here. Very I, don't, I think I've only just made the fairway. Yeah, literally. I mean, it didn't seem... I didn't, hit it. I didn't think I'd hit it that bad, but it must have just been a low left. Low lefter. I've got 208 yards in. <laughs> so yay! <laughs> I'm going to rifle this uh, two iron off it. Just keep an eye on this, Pete. It's straight down the middle of the green, but no idea where it landed, so. Probably not 208 yards. Most likely a pitch in. <laughs> so Pete's got 203 left in, great drive. I actually hit a second off the tee before as well, and it's actually pretty good, but that's it. Second chances mean nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to go, I'm going to go at the pin. Okay, pin's took right into the right corner. So Anything missing right is uh, it's going to be wet, so it's, this is brave play. I'm just going to, well, if I miss, it's going to go left, put it that way. It did that. No idea. I can't, it went up left. Left side of something. It's a rubbishy strike. It was, it's hard to strike. Oh. When, you can't, when you can't see it. <laughs> you can't see it. So we're going to have Harry Felix and Ollie hold the camera. Who's taking responsibility? Good luck. <laughs> Look at Pete's <laughs> pressures. Okay, so I've done alright from 280 back there. Yeah, well, they're already doing a better job than me. They've got you in frame. <laughs> <laughs> uh, much wrong with that first hill, lads? Not, Not really. really. Fly it there or land it short? Um, it kind of down all, slopes down from there. All square in the match. Oh, okay. I don't think you should really take my advice. But. <laughs> what, land it on top of the hill? Yeah, because it I kind of it runs that. down, so. Okay. Sounds good to me. Oh, is that going over the hill? Not quite no. got over. No, not quite enough. No good lads. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Right, so it's getting ridiculously dark and um, Pete's got a up and down to win the match. Now, any other circumstances, I'd, I'd bet, um, bet on him here, but this is, uh, this is quite a situation. I'll spin the camera around in a minute. It's got quite a lot of undulation. Oh, he's... Mm, yeah, okay. Oh, that's not a bad effort. It did, I expect that to come a bit more off the left as well towards the end and look at this, how amazing is that? In fact, wow, awesome. <laughs> awesome, I'll let you hold that. I think I know which way you're going to film this putt. Uh, maybe. Right, this would be an amazing par because I don't think I've hit a good shot on this hole yet. <laughs> Hardest hole on the course. So if he holds this, I need to get mine for a half. If he misses out, I've got a chance for the match. Might be a little bit bitty with the uh, camera now, but it is dark, very dark. Break in, break in, break in, break in! Nice. You might have two putts for it, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's downhill. Downhill, it is downhill. Down, way severely downhill. So this for the match with that amazing backdrop. Do not waste this opportunity to capitalise. I mean, this is your thumbnail. <laughs> Someone found it funny. Great up and down. Great up and down. Round of applause. Hey. Makes you melt, doesn't it? It, Just does, it, does, it does. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. That was it. Just to get, you all, get you in this back. Come in, guys. I want to get you all in this backdrop. Gonna will this putting. So it's been an absolutely wonderful day, Dad. Come on in. Don't be shy. 
Very good. There's been an amazing day down here at the Elves Club. Uh, these guys are all members here. It's a hell of a place you play out here. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so. We we're just walk, walking up and they're saying they're going to put the winter grass. They've put the winter grass in. That's Anyone? why I struggled today, Pete. I couldn't play in that winter. Well, grass it day. confused me. I didn't realise we were putting the winter grass in. So I don't know. We found hey. bunkers. Is that the winter sand as well? <laughs> Doesn't freeze. So that was a fantastic, mate. Subscribe to Rick if you haven't already. Appreciate, it. <laughs> Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Give the Elves Club some love. I don't know why I'm circling around here. <laughs> the next generation, very, very lovely young men. Yes. And uh, we want to thank uh, Gary Brown as well for letting us come down here and True and Golf. It's been a great experience. We've loved it. It's a shame we couldn't get here a bit earlier and play a bit more golf, but these guys were ridiculously busy today with the World Tour Championship just, what, a mile up the road, if that? Yeah. 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 Glitching yeah. the next door neighbours. Guys, thanks for watching. Do subscribe to Pete. He's given out all the love and not giving any, any to himself just yet. Don't deserve any. And we shall see you all soon. Good win. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And thank you, uh, Darren Clark, as well, for the phone call. Tell me the pin placements as well. So we're going to <laughs> see you guys all later on. And uh, one more backdrop on this amazing place. Guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.